had to get that bag, that bag, yeah, I had to get that bag, that bag, yeah, I had to get that bag, that bag, I might pull up do the dash, like flash. What's going on, Fortnite? It's your boy, Phone Boy, coming back at y'all with another video. This video is going to be my back to school shopping haul video. Basically, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I got from back to school clothes wise, shoe wise, accessory wise, everything wise. So make sure you guys sit there and watch the whole video, see everything I copped. You know, I went pretty light this year, not money wise, but quantity wise, because obviously, as the title, you guys can see that I spent over $1,300 over everything that I got for back to school. And I haven't just got everything in one month. I, I kind of built up to this point for building for my back to school clothes. And before we start this video, I just want to make sure that you guys know that I am not bragging in any way. A little bit of people thought I was bragging in my last video. By the way, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It hit about, it's over 20K in a day. That video is doing pretty good. It's doing really well right now. A lot of people love the video. Everybody's saying it's lit. Everybody loves the video. So go watch the last video if you haven't. But a couple people thought I was bragging or showing off a little bit. But honestly, guys, I was just showing you guys my whole day. I was showing you guys what I was doing. I was showing you guys what I was buying. I wasn't trying to flex too much. You know, honestly, I cut out a lot of parts while I was pulling out my money. There were a couple, there were maybe two clips when I pulled out my money, you know, but that was because something funny happened, like in Polo. My boy got roasted when I was pulling out my money. I kept it in there just because it makes for good vlog content. It makes for it makes people laugh. The Tommy guy was actually roasting my boy, so, you know, I kept it in there. I, I said Polo, but I meant Tommy. I kept it in there, but I'm not bragging in any way, so please don't think I'm bragging. I honestly work for my money. I work for everything that I have. I bought most of my shoes behind me. I bought all of my clothes, or most of my clothes, because I work and do YouTube. So just to get all that out the way, let's get straight into it, man. Let's go. All right, foreigners, I'm gonna start off with something that most of you guys probably won't care about. So I'm gonna just breeze through it really quick. And what I'm talking about is boxes. So honestly, these are my favorite that I got out of everything. They're pizza boxes, American Eagle pizza boxes. You take them out, they're boxer briefs, and they're basically like pizza. So this is one of my favorites right here. So I had a cop. Then next up, I got some simple boxer briefs from Tommy. Simple, but yet effective. You know how that goes. But anyway, yeah, simple pair of Tommy Jaws. Next one, I got these ones. They're basically, I'm gonna show you guys all at the same time because they're basically the same kind right here. I spent about, I want to say, 60 bucks on all of those, so it might be a lot to you guys, but honestly, it's a good deal to me. 60 bucks for a couple Tommy Jaws and, and American Eagle Jaws is not bad. So that's what I got for all my boxes for back to school. Now moving on to my accessories. All right, like I said, I'm moving on to the accessories before I jump into the clothes and everything else. Really, the only accessory I copped, and I want earrings too, but I was not able to cop in time because the store that I go to is closed today. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to go tomorrow or Wednesday. But yeah, the accessory that I copped was a Ferragamo belt. As you can see, it's a gold buckle right there. Reversible. Red on this side. If you're looking for a real belt, this model for the Ferragamo belt, I'm going to just tell you guys a quick step to tell how your belt is real or not. So with this belt, the barcode should be... SP237601. Let me go ahead and try to focus on that. Hopefully you guys can see that, but the barcode should say SP237601. It should say Salvatore Ferragamo, and it should say Made in Italy right there. There goes the barcode, and it should have three holes right there. It should be reversible, and as well as this belt model should not have any stitching. Moving on to the belt buckle, you should have a screw right there, right there. Two screws behind, which I'm going to show you guys right now, just so you guys don't think my stuff is fake. You should have two screws right here, and then it should say Made in Italy right there. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to focus on that right now because the, the lights are so close, it's going to mess with the camera. But that's how you tell if your Ferragamo belt in this model is real or fake. So that's what I got for the belt wise. This is the only accessory that I got. I'm still trying to get the earrings. Hopefully, I'll be able to get them either Tuesday, tomorrow, or Wednesday. But yeah, so that's the accessories moving on to the clothes. Also, let me say that I am getting my haircut tomorrow. A lot of people have been saying, when are you getting your haircut? You're spending your money on clothes, spending your money on shoes, get your haircut. People used to say, you're spending your money on shoes, clothes, get your teeth fixed. I did that, now it's my hair, so now I'm gonna do that so nobody can say anything, honestly. Y'all pretty funny, man. A lot of you guys, the little bit, the little bit of haters are, are funny, but you know, I got a lot of love, especially from the foreigners in my last video, so I appreciate you guys. There was a little bit of hate, like I said, with the flexing or whatever, but a lot of you guys understand, a lot of you guys wanted the video, so I brought it to 
Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought if you guys have requested the video, but yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do the shoes the last, but moving on to the shirts, I do have this big pony. If you guys watched my last video, you guys see me cop this. You guys, if you guys wanna see how these shirts and pants look, go watch my last video. I'll show you guys how they look in the last video, but yeah, this is a simple big pony. Real clean, real cold. Moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next one, you got the red one, exact same shirt, but red and blue. You feel me? This one is cold in my opinion. I do like that one a little bit more just because I can wear it with most of my shoes. But this one is cold like with my red shoes, either if it's my Bear 13s, my Gym Red 12s, my Cherry 13s, or even those right there. This shirt really does go crazy with all of these outfits that I have planned in my head for the future. So just simple, you know, big pony with the three on the side. Both of these shirts came out to about 120. Tell me if that's a good deal. Tell me if that's a good price. I don't know. You know, in my opinion, it is for the big ponies because they do go for a lot of money. So anyways, that's the only shirt I copped for back to school. Just I have a lot of shirts, honestly. I don't need too much more shirts. I just know I wanted some more big pony. So then I had to go cop. Moving on to the pants. All right, man, moving on to the pants. I'm going to start off with the pants that I got from American Eagle. And that is these right here. Just some simple, simple pants. Like, I believe it's like the dark blue type jeans. And if you guys, like I said, if you guys want to see how the jeans fit, go watch my last video. I'll show you guys how the jeans fit. But yeah, these fit real good. They're like a slim, like tapered at the bottom. They go crazy with any of my shoes. And just, yeah, this is a simple, simple look. And I was going for a simple look for at least two of my jeans. I found it in these, so I had to go and cop. Moving on to the next pair. Moving on to the next pair, another pair of American Eagle jeans right here. These ones have to be one of my favorite American jeans that I have. I have about four American Eagle jeans. These are one of my favorites right here just because of the way they look, the rips in there, the light wash denim look as well, like the bleach look and with the rips, it's, it's cold. These jeans right here are cold. Like I said, if you guys wanna see how they looked on me, go watch the last video. Cause a lot of people love that video, but yeah, these jeans right here are super cold. You get them from American Eagle, like I said, they go crazy with any outfit. I got a lot of outfits planned on my head for the school year. And that means more sneaker rotations are coming as well. Sneaker rotations with the outfits. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So yeah, real cold. Now I'm moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next jeans. I'm getting into the Paxson jeans. The jeans that I went to the mall and copped. I did not record me at the mall with my friends. Just because we went in there, got the things that we needed and we left. So um, Paxson jeans right here. I, if you guys watched my last vlog, you would know that I tried these on at the outlets when we went and they were super tight. They were too tight and they were too small. So I had to cop another size and they didn't have it. And so when I went to Paxson in the mall, they had them. So I went and copped them. They're a little tight in my vlog yesterday because they were a smaller size, but these ones fit better. So yeah, that's these. Moving on to the next one. Oh, and these ones were $65. And the last two came out to about $100 for my American Eagle jeans. And these ones were 65 and it was buy one, get a percentage off of the next one. I forgot what the percentage was, but I'm gonna show you guys the next jeans I caught from Paxson as well. But that's these pairs, moving on to the next one. All right, moving on to the second pair of jeans I caught from Paxson. This was the jeans that I got a percentage off of. And both these jeans came out to about 120. And that is these biker jeans right here. These look super cold. If you don't think they look cold right now, they look cold on body. I'm telling y'all, if you guys ever go to Pakistan and you try these on, you're going to want them instantly. But yeah, you already know they got the biker right there and they got a little distressing as well as it's just a light jeans. I like the light wash jeans. I don't always like the dark jeans. I love the light wash jeans. So these go crazy in my opinion. And these ones, like I said, I forgot the price. I believe it's like 65, but it was a percentage off. Or something like that and it came out to 120 either way no it actually came out to it actually came out to 105 my bad it came out to 105 not 120 i got it mixed up with the polo shirts but these and the last pair of jeans i showed you came out to 105 and so yeah in my opinion they're both cold now moving on to the last pair of jeans moving on to the last pair of jeans these will have to be my favorite pair of jeans that i copped for back to school and these came from zoomies i think and these are the light wash jeans with the biker denim shout out to louis for telling me about these as you can see, it has the rips in the knees. Hopefully you can see that. And it got the denim, like I said, as well as the biker right there. So I got these at the mall yesterday as well. These ones came out to $65, not a bad price. And they fit crazy good. These fit amazing, but these jeans go crazy. If you guys want some jeans like this, 
Go to Zoomies, go to Paxson, get some biker jeans. They go crazy. You heard it here from me. I'm going to try to link these in the description down below if you guys want to go cop. If I don't find them, then I don't find them. But for the stuff that I find, I'm going to link in the description for everything that I can. So the Ferragamo bow be in the description. All the jeans that I could find will be in the description as well as the shirts and the shoes. So that's the last pair of jeans that I copped. Now I'm moving on to the shoes. I showed you guys everything. I showed you guys the clothes. I showed you guys the shirts, the pants, the belt, the boxers. Now, like I said, the last thing I got to show you guys is the shoes. So let me go ahead and show you that. All right, moving on to the shoes. These are the two shoes that I copped for back to school. One was a couple months back, but I knew that I was saving them for school. And one was like, I believe last weekend. If you guys watched that video, if you haven't watched the video, go ahead and go watch it. But these are the Bread 13s. I copped these, I believe they came out last weekend. I did a full in depth detail review and on feet of these and I did the pickup vlog so if you guys have not seen that go ahead and go watch it but I did copy these for back to school very clean shoe in my opinion OG colorway you can't go wrong with these man cold on feet they go to a lot of my outfits as you guys know I like red I'm not a game maker but I do like red I like blue as you guys can see all my shoes are red and blue but yeah these shoes right here are very cold very good material the suede changes color so if you guys want them if they're still sitting in your stores which they are sitting in a couple stores go ahead and go cop you'll thank me later honestly cop what you like now moving on to the next shoe i'm moving on to the next shoe i did cop these when they came out i believe a couple months ago and i have not worn them to this day i was saving them for school and I did copy these off the Adidas app. As you guys can know, I'm giving you guys hints. These are the most hyped shoes in my collection, which are the Zebra 350 V2 Boost right here. And I'm most likely gonna be wearing these on the first day. I may or may not, most likely I am. And be sure to stay tuned. I might, I just might do a first day of school vlog or something like that. A lot of people were asking me to vlog my first day of school and a couple more days throughout the year. And I thought that was a good idea. So did my friends. So they might vlog as well. I know a lot of Vision 5 is going to my school. Three members of Vision 5 are not going to my school, but the rest are. So, you know, we can all vlog honestly for you guys. And but I know for sure I might be vlogging. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And that is the Zebras. Now I believe that's all I got. I believe that's all I got. Like I said, I went light on quantity, not in money. Because as you guys can see by the title, like I said, I spent over $1,300. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. I do have some money left over. And that is because I, I purposely am saving it for a couple things that I want in the future. I could have went out and bought a bunch more stuff from back to school. But I'm saving it because I know I'm going to want a couple things for the channel to show you guys. Pick up. That's a little hint. I'm going to pick up some stuff in the very near future. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Also, man, shout out to Ken Pizzo. If you guys don't know who Ken Pizzo is, he's a teenager just like me. I believe he's like 16 or 17, and he's almost at 200K. He's about at 175K. I've been watching him for a long time. I've been watching him for a long time. And he actually DM'd me on Instagram. He actually DM me on Instagram, which was crazy. Like I never would have thought Cam Pizzo would actually DM me on Instagram. He's a cool dude, actually. He actually told me that his friend told him about my channel. So shout out to you if you're watching this, Cam Pizzo, and your friend. Shout out to your friend for putting you on me. I know you're not subscribed, but thank you for watching at least some videos and acknowledging me. Like I said, I've been watching them for a long time. So shout out to him. If you guys haven't already, go subscribe to Cam Pizzo and go spam his comments and say, "Phone boy said thank you." And that's just because you know he. He didn't have to go out of his way to DM me. I'm at 35K, he's at 175K. He didn't have to DM me. You know, he didn't even know I was a, a subscriber of his. He just liked my video that he seen, whichever video it was, and he had to go out of his way to DM me. So go on his Instagram and his latest picture, go ahead and go say phone boy said thank you. Go ahead and go subscribe to him. And in the latest video, say phone boy said thank you. So shout out to you, Ken Pizzo. Now let me go ahead and get into these shout outs. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the shout outs. So I'm gonna go ahead and shout out six people. Just the first couple that I find off of my latest video. By the way, my latest video is at 23,967 as I speak. And it's been up for not even a full day. So shout out to everybody who messed with my last video. But yeah, I'm going to read the comments from my last video and shout out six people who commented something positive. Shout out to SYN Space TV. He said, just sub. Appreciate that. Appreciate you becoming a foreigner. And yeah, moving on to the next one. Shout out to Mariah Martinez. She said, this vlog be lit. Uh, shout out to you. Thank you for coming to something positive. Shout out to Cadence Mommy. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It's K-A-Y-D-E-N-C-E Mommy. She said, is that the vacuum outlet? And that's not something positive. But yes, that is the vacuum outlet. I just wanted to make that clear because I know a lot of people was asking that. So shout out to you. 
And yeah, that's the Vacaville outlets. I don't live in Vacaville. I just go out there when I want to go to the outlets because they got all the stores out there that the mall does not have. But yeah, moving on to the fourth person. Shout out to Ken So Lit. He said this video is lit with the fire emoji. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. And if you're subscribed, appreciate that as well. Like I said, everybody go ahead and subscribe right now to join the foreigners. And comment something positive. Tell me that you turn the bell notifications on so you get notified whenever I post. And I'll go ahead and shout you out. I have no problem shouting everybody out if they just do those things. You know, support me. I'm going to give back. You know, so moving on to the sixth person. And moving on to the last two, actually, because they both said the same thing, basically. Jordan and Kevin Martinez. They both said this vlog is lit with the fire emoji. So shout out to all six of you guys. If you guys want to be the next six in the next video, go ahead and comment something right now. Something positive. Something you like about the video. Something you liked what I cop anything about the video that's positive and I'll go ahead and shut you out my next video and I'm trying to do six now just because I forgot the last two vlogs so I'm gonna do six now every video just so I don't forget and if you guys see that I'm not shouting you guys out in the video get on me about it you know just be like yo where the shout outs at and help me remember it because I'm new to this shouting out people thing and I just want to give back to all my subscribers so if you guys see me slacking on that part just go ahead and tell me and don't don't get on my case too heavy about it you know just be like yo phone boy what a shout out that you know what I'm saying so then I'll remember it. but yeah shout out to everybody shout out to Camp Pizza as well now let's get back into the video if you guys haven't already liked this video give it a big thumbs up smash that like button smash it a hundred times Oh, or just smash it once because if you keep on smashing it, it'll unlike and like. Just smash it once, man. Just smash it once. Share our channel. Let's get to 50k. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Join the foreigners. Go at me on Snapchat. Go follow me on Instagram. And like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know I liked everything that I caught. Hopefully you guys did too. I'm gonna get on out of here and edit this video for you guys. It's been your boy Phone Boy, and I'm out. Ashcat.